Hey guys, um, my name is Kayla Rundle. If you guys do not know me, sorry, I'm freaking blasted. I just got my eyebrows done and my eyelashes done. <laughs> but after, you know, making myself feel good, I came out to my car and I'm in my Honda Civic and the entire car, yeah, I will show you. We are broken down currently. This never ends. If the Camaro's good, the daily's gotta go down. If the race car is down, the daily's good. And just it just goes back and forth. Yeah, welcome to my life. But I thought I would share this experience with you guys. Um, yeah, there is all my coolant for my entire car. Yeah, you can see like the green hue. How I, that's how I know it was coolant right away. You can literally see it leaking on my little lip right here. I don't know what's going on. I can't really tell the whole under tray underneath is completely covered in plastics. Hopefully don't blame this on me because I just did the fog light change, but there's no way coolant had anything to do with it. But the container is completely empty. So yeah, we are waiting on a tow truck and I'm just gonna be hanging out here in gorgeous Arizona. Luckily it's good weather until the tow truck gets here. So stay tuned, we'll see what happens. Bye Civic. Love you! <laughs> Gosh, being a car person is so fun. This thing's completely stock and it broke down. I don't know, the coolant was everywhere. This coolant, he literally just drove it on the tow truck. This is all this line right here is all from my Civic. And look at this huge puddle <laughs> that ended up. It's so much. It's green, nasty. Put anything bigger on it. Oh boy. <laughs> so chill, oh yeah. So chill. Battle of the horns. Bye, Civic. Kayla, get out in front and do battle of the horns. Are you really? Yay. Tow truck's here. What? horn is that? Train. A train horn. I didn't even blow it hard. Will you blow it hard? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> So I made it to the dealership. They said they wouldn't cover my Civic at all under warranty. And they said somehow a stick went like past my grill, past my under tray, somehow warmed itself all the way into the radiator. So I don't know how that happened, but the tow truck's pulling up right now. It's sunset. I've spent all day trying to get this Civic home. So now I'm finally bringing it home, even though the dealership can't cover it. <laughs> That's my mom. Now I can't hear. Round two for today. The Civic is now outnumbering the Camaro on toes. He's <laughs> talking. <laughs> 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 Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla Rundle. I don't know if I'm gonna plug in the footage of like my Civic breaking down on here, but my Civic's back in my garage and now I have to fix her. So honestly, I'm not really sure what's completely wrong with it. Like they said the radiator's punctured, but it, like it literally could just be a hose or like the drain valve is like broken like you never really know like never trust anybody so I'm not just gonna take it out right away I but I do have to take off my front bumper and all the plastic pieces on the top so that's a pain because I literally just took off my front bumper like a couple weeks ago when I replaced the fog lights like you guys saw in the other video so I'm not gonna record the whole process of me taking off the front bumper since that is in the other video so you can check that out if you want I can plug it in right here on how to take off the front bumper it's just a ton of clips and bolts but yeah with the radiator we have to take off like support beams on the top and bottom and I got to drain the rest of the radiator fluid so yeah stay tuned and let's see how this goes this is my first time doing this so it'll be a fun one <laughs> this is me so much work I can't <laughs> Thank you. 
Yay! Front bumper's off now. You just have to unhook the fog light harnesses so the bumper can be taken away. My hands haven't got that dirty yet, so my nails are done. There's probably no girls in here, but I get the dip and they literally never crack when I work on my car. All right, so I completely took off the bumper. As you can see, there's coolant lining all on the inside of the bumper, which sucks. I'm gonna have to clean all that up. Then it's all clean from last time when I took off my bumper though. So now we'll just have to get underneath and see where all this coolant is coming from basically. Now it's time to lift the car up. Um, this car is really hard to jack up because the whole underside of the car is carpet and plastic. There's literally no metal anywhere to jack it up. So I'm going to start jacking it up from the rear point and put jack stands in the front jack point and work side to side that way. days later since I jacked up my Civic it's been sitting in the garage I got caught up with a lot of schoolwork and I went on a photo shoot which if you guys follow me on Instagram you'd be able to see them but yeah so I'm just gonna continue ripping out the radiator I have not bought one yet so it's gonna suck if I have to get one because I'm still not sure what's wrong with it but now I have to pull off the upper and lower support beams and all that. I got all the other plastic pieces out, so that makes my life a lot easier. So yeah, let's get it. <laughs> There's cool all over the floor, but let's just chill over here. So I was freaking out because the Civic has this like huge plastic under tray. It like goes under the whole car and I was like, I do not want to have to take this off because the radio support is behind this. But I figured out you don't because Honda put little holes in the plastic support so you can fit the wrench right in there. And so you have to get a 14 millimeter socket and a 17 millimeter. There's two of both sides on each side. And after undoing those, you can drop the radiator support beam, which is super easy. So hopefully. Legends. My life is never easy. I think mean, that's loosening. Yes! Oh my. Well, that was a million times easier. Nice job, Kayla. Dang! <laughs> I was like trying to do it with the smallest wrench. Oh, well, unless I was turning it the wrong way, which could be a possibility. Okay, they said the, I think the 14 millimeter stays in it. There we go, body. Yes. This is like, I always wonder if people actually watch my videos. I feel like I'd make people feel better if they watch how hard of a time I have doing this. This thing's heavy. So I'm probably holding in a super awkward way. We don't have to make fun of anyone here. Oh my gosh. I don't listen all the way so that it holds it in place while I'm loosening the other bolts. It just makes it easier so things don't like strip and like wiggle while I'm trying to get the other one loose. So now we need a 17 millimeter. That is almost spot on, but how much are we gonna have to strip this bolt today? Yeah, but that guy's too small. I feel like that might strip it. 
oh my god, I just got this toolkit and it literally has like one socket in it and it's a 17 mil, bro. Oh, I got so lucky. Well, that doesn't fit in there. Dang. Now I don't have to strip it. Yay. Using one hand to hold like the head of it on because the gravity took the tool down and it's difficult. I do all the work on the floor of my garage rather than on a nice lift like all the other YouTubers. I guess we pull this one. Yeah, so it's literally this bolt I'm undoing my hand. What are you working on, your Honda? Yeah, like I'm so confused because I only know how to work on the Camaro, so like. Uh, the radiator got punctured, so this is like the whole under tray. Literally, the whole car is covered in plastics. My rotors. I was like, I don't remember when mm -hmm. I took them off. Is this how you work on your car, or is it like you're like definitely more like in tune into what you're doing? No, I'm like you. <laughs> like all over the place. Okay, so I got the support beam. The lower support beam off it's dirty and it looks different from all the other videos i found online it's probably because mine's not the type r i didn't realize they had a difference so now we have to take off the air box which is like super difficult to see this plastic thing in here way in there so i think it's a few 10 millimeter bolts and it should come off I think we have to take it out of the way because of how we drain the coolant. Why isn't there a hole for this bolt? It doesn't want us to go inside, I swear. So, I'm going to undo the aluminum tray underneath the car so I can get to the oil filter and the drain plug. So I'm just using a flathead to undo these. It should be. Oh, did I just undo it? Whoa, you just half turn them and they come out. That's sick. Okay. I'm getting coolant all over me. Yeah, there, there are all those. Just soda. Just soda. Like that? I don't really know. And another 10 millimeter bolt is deep in there as well, which likes to make our life difficult as well. I like this, how this car is so sassy. Please tell me it's just loose. I don't have to deal with you with the tool. Yes! Oh, to take off the air box. I don't understand. Hi. So how far along are you? Bro, this is so much more complicated than like camming my car. I don't really know if it matters, but I couldn't get the air box off, so but I can reach the drain plug for the radiator. So I'm just gonna squeeze my hands in there and drain it out into this little drawer out of my detailing bay that I that I uh, drain my radiator fluid and oil into. Don't judge me, but it does its job, okay? Okay, so that's what we're gonna drain into. We're gonna see if it works. Bro, were we that empty? Oh. Little hoop 
for the quant to go through. Yay! I get my new radiator in a few days and now I have to figure out I'm also going to install my underglow so I might just put out this video of me doing all the work in the beginning and then do like a second half video because I feel like this is a long video because a lot has happened and sorry I haven't been posting a lot um I've been dealing with all of this in school and such but yeah if you guys want check out my Instagram I post on my stories of me struggling on there all the time when I'm wor working on my car. <laughs> it's a good time. So yeah, this is my Civic right now. A mess, right? Yeah. But thank you guys so much for watching. The Instagram's Kayla Rundle, TikTok's Kayla Rundle, you know. And subscribe and like this video, subscribe to my channel to support me so I can keep breaking my car and learning the long way and afford to be able to build this little car oh uh, yeah now i just want to sell it but yeah but thank you guys again for watching um everybody have an amazing day or night whatever time it is love you guys see you in the next one bye